Today is kind of a paint day, so today I'm gonna clear the back portion of my bride seat. Grid, as you would correctly pronounce it. You guys can see I got my Yokohama hat on. We're gonna go ahead and spray the back of the seats with a rattle can and not a spray gun. I've actually painted entire cars with spray cans before. Luckily, didn't get any streak marks. Of course, at first I did, but once you get used to it, you really don't get any streak marks on there. You just gotta find, figure out a way to do it and get the pattern correctly in order for you not to get that. So I'm just gonna use the rattle can. This is actually good clear. It's from an actual uh, body car body paint shop. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the back of the seats. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take them apart and I'm gonna show you guys how I take them apart. Get them ready, clean them up, and then clear them. Hopefully I have enough clear to clear both of them. I should. Uh, and the reason I'm clearing them is because when I laid the coats of resin on there and I sanded it down, all I did was polish them and I did not clear them. So it kind of looks kind of weird in a way. So I'm going to go ahead and clear them, go ahead and polish them uh, probably about two weeks later. So that way the paint or the clear coat uh, dries as it should. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are the bright seats, and what I do need to do is remove the mounting brackets on there before I go ahead and add the clear coat, or maybe I'll just end up masking that part off. We'll see. Before we go ahead and remove the seats, take them apart, I'm going to go ahead and cover this car up so we don't get any overspray on there, so let's get to it. All right, removing these is a pain. I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse it, remove the two, four screws on the side, and then take off the cushion and take off the cover, take off the the clips around the area where the seat belts go through, and we'll get started on cleaning it and then re-clearing the seat. Now that the seat is taken apart, we're gonna hit it with some degreaser and then followed by some soap and water and then a little bit of acetone, not too much, just a tiny little bit to just clean off all the grease and dirt off of it. want to do now since it's cold outside you want to get a, the warmest water you can from your sink let the can sit in there for about five to ten minutes and you're ready to roll another tip before we start make sure to wear your respiratory mask when painting especially in an enclosed area like this where you really don't have no ventilation uh, luckily for me I have a fan back there turned on and the garage is open so hopefully all the clear goes that way towards the outside of the garage so I'm just letting the paint warm up real quick and once it's ready we're gonna go ahead and spray this Look at that. Would you look at that? Yes, look at that. Yeah, sure. yeah look at this. <laughs> you know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, guys, the seats are now clear coated. The other one is put back together. I'm going to wait a couple of days. I'll probably leave this one out like this. Wait a couple of days and then go ahead and polish them up. 
as you can see they came out amazing just a little bit of wet sanding polishing and they'll look brand new they're not perfect of course because you know it's our it was my first time doing basically an overlay on top of fiberglass all right now that the seat is dry i'm gonna go ahead and put it back together i'm gonna put everything back on and then when it's time to polish them i'll just go ahead and polish the back side of them or whatever parts i could get to son just look at that reflection though also if you guys ever wondered how i get the perfect thumbnail this is how you do it put the seats in the car just to visualize what the vehicle is going to look like once the seats are on there so to get a better idea let me go ahead and close this hatch right here all right with the hatch closed and the seats in this is what the car is going to look like in the sunlight maybe not as bright but you get the idea and then once all the interiors in once the x bar is in it's going to look a million times better than this and i do got to fix that little tear on top of the seat I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I got to figure out how. Probably take to a upholstery shop and have them touch that up, fix that up, or maybe put a little patch there. I don't know. I'll figure it out. The carbon looks amazing. Once it's polished, it'll give it a lot more glare and a lot more shine. And just seeing the seats in there gives me motivation to finish the vehicle because I get an, a better idea of what the vehicle is going to look like once it's finished. Once the Takata harnesses are on, it's going to look a million times better. I do need to get a harness bar made, custom harness bar made for this car. I was going to go with the NRG one, but I've read a lot of bad things about those type of harness bars. I mean, at the end of the day, mine's going to be welded on, hopefully. Or maybe I'll bolt it onto the original C-bolt brackets. But that will do for me. And I've heard also that the NRG bars do not fit well with this chassis i'm just gonna have one custom made for this vehicle and that's not gonna be till way later on till the car is almost complete step i'll get the car towed over there have them make the harness bar and then install the harness bars and then drive it back that is my plan for that and of course we still need a lot more work on the vehicle which is coming soon so just stay tuned for that all right now both seats are clear coated drying at the moment for probably about one to two weeks and we could go ahead and do a light wet sand buff the seats out to make them look brand new um they're not perfect perfect but they're perfect in my eyes so it's my first time doing not painting because i painted for a while but it's my first time actually doing the carbon seat going through this whole process i guess you could say but with that being said i'm gonna end the video here make sure to like share comment 
and subscribe hit that bell notification button get notified every time i post a video once again ed range keep on rotating peace